Hey guys, your commissioner here. We are opening week of the NFL season, which means we're the opening week of the QFL season. And this is the waiver wire explained in about two minutes or less. Come on, Mike, show some brevity here. Okay, for some of the new guys and the experienced managers, what is the waiver wire? The waiver wire is a frozen section of players that cannot be picked up unless a claim is made for them. Uh, typically, most of the time, everybody's a free agent, noted by the FA next to their name, and free agents can be added and dropped at your leisure. Just note that every manager only has 30 transactions for the year and only three transactions per week. Trades do not count as a transaction, so you can trade to your heart's content. Here's how waiver wires work. So here's how the waiver wire works. The last game of every week, typically a Monday, after the end of that game, there's a waiver period for all players that are not currently rostered. Those players are frozen and have a W next to them, which means they're on waiver, uh, and then you guys can make claims on them. I'm sure you know that, but some of you don't. I get texts on this. So the priority of who gets who is based on your waiver priority. And if you look under the league standings, if you look to the far right, you see everybody has a waiver priority. One, meaning if you have a number one, you make a claim on whoever you want, you're going to get them. But it's a continuing rolling waiver priority. So if you have the first priority and you make a claim and you get that claim, you move down the ladder. You're going to be probably 12 next week. If you don't make a claim that given week, you're going to move up. And you're going to keep moving up and moving up and moving up. Here's a pro tip, guys. If you're picking up a defense or a free agent, don't waste a waiver claim on them. They'll probably be available for you when the free agency opens up, which is typically two days after the last game. So if the last game is Monday night, the waiver period is typically two days. Players are awarded on Wednesday, and then at that period, everybody's a free agent who's not on a roster. So you can come and go as you please. But remember, only three transactions per week, 30 for the year, trades don't count, and I hope that helped. So just remember guys, every team has an IR or injured reserve spot. We all have five bench players, and then we also have an injured reserve spot that we can add somebody on top of our five bench players into there. They have to be on actual official injured reserve. They can't be suspended. They can't be going to be injured. They can't be, boy, they're hurt, but they're playing on Sunday. They're gonna be officially injured reserve and you can stick them in there. Once they're off of the injured reserve list, you have to make a decision. Do you add them to your bench, take somebody off your bench, or do you just drop them? Which is what Johnny O does to most of his team because they're terrible. Just so you know, everybody who's unrostered is currently a free agent. You guys can pick them up, come and go as you please, uh, until the Thursday night game, those players are frozen, and then the Sunday game, those players are frozen for a few days. It's opening week in the NFL. I love you guys. Good luck to everyone. Week one in the QFL. I'm out.